Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with all the resources you need to become a successful author. You can learn more about Authors Unite and join the free community at authorsunite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Uh, today, I have Brandon Bruce with us. He is the co founder of Cirrus Insight, a plugin for Gmail and Outlook that integrates with Salesforce to help salespeople save time. So, welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much, Tyler. Of course. Um, we'll dive into the first one. The first question I have for you, Brandon, is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? You know, I think one of my favorite stories and one that's been meaningful to me is uh, years ago, I read about a bicycle race through Death Valley. It was 508 miles long, single stage. So you just start and then you go as fast as you can until you finish. It took me uh, 35 hours and seven minutes. And when I was about halfway, maybe two thirds of the way done, biking along through the desert and there happened to be a road sign there that said uh, no stopping anytime. And uh, in part because I was relatively fatigued and starting to have some minor hallucinations, but, I'm, but it was just, it was meaningful to me because it was like, well, I'm not, I'm not done yet. Uh, so I don't want to stop just out here in the middle of the desert. And here's the sign telling me no stopping anytime. Doesn't matter if you're tired, doesn't matter if you need a little bit more water or some more fuel. Uh, you just got to keep going until you hit the finish. And I think, uh, that's been a good lesson for me, not only, of course, in cycling, uh, but also in business and most other things in life. Hmm. And what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? You know, years ago, uh, and my kids are still young, but when they were really little, they would, they would ask, you know, well, what do you do for your job? You know, when you go to work, what do you do? And the easiest way and the most accurate way I could explain it is uh, I talk for a living. And so I think one of the most pe- valuable pieces of information that's that's within my expertise or industry is that, you know, we sell sales software to sales people and sales, I think has always been, and certainly is today an industry that's dominated by communication, uh, meeting with people in person and connecting with them through calendars, through email on the phone. And so it's, uh, learning and developing your own, your own language, your own way of presenting yourself, your own way of connecting with others, uh, and, and, and talking. And what's your best piece of overall business advice? You're not necessarily industry specific. Uh, This came from one of the original founders of Cisco and she gave an interview once and she said, the first rule of playing a game is to know that you're playing a game. And I love that one Uh, in part because my dad always said, whether it was uh, weeding outside or repairing fences or anything, uh, if my brother and I got discouraged doing it, he would say, we'll make it into a game. Uh, compete with yourself, compete with uh, your brother, uh, try to make it fun and interesting, keep track of the score, have fun with it. And so, uh, yeah. And if you could give your... Knowing that you're playing a game. (laughs) Yeah, no, actually, I've never heard that quote, but I really like it. Um, And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? I think it's that the biggest decision is really the decision to start. Uh, Not an easy one to make. It's easy to postpone that. Uh, to procrastinate, to do more research, to really study it because you don't want to you know, make a mistake, uh, but it's okay to make some mistakes. And so really the biggest decision is, is the decision to start. And uh, so giving myself a piece of advice when I was younger, I would, I would simply tell myself, it's time to start. And in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? I think it's kinship. Um, you know, I love the books by uh, Greg Boyle. He's the founder of Homeboy Industries in Los Angeles, the biggest gang intervention program in the world. And he's written some books, uh, Tattoos on the Heart is his first bestseller, where he talks about the meaning of kinship. And one of the stories he tells is a reporter went to Cesar Chavez in California when he was uh, doing a lot of work on behalf of agricultural workers and said, you know, these workers really seem to love you. And his response was, it's mutual. Uh, you know, we love each other and it's that kinship, I think, that's that's meaningful and that leads to uh, not only happiness, but also kind of a sense of meaning and fulfillment. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? 
Uh, well, uh, I guess I already kind of mentioned it, but most recently that book has made the biggest difference in, in, in my current thought process and, and how I'm uh, evaluating you know, success and significance is this idea of kinship. I think it's a great word. It's a great concept. Uh, so I definitely recommend to everybody uh, Tattoos on the Heart. Uh, the author is Greg Boyle. And what is your favorite quote and why? Yeah, one that I saw just the other day as I went and watched the movie uh, Won't You Be My Neighbor about Mr. Rogers. And he, in the movie, has a little phrase uh, that comes from the Jewish tradition called Tikkun Olam, uh, which means we are the repairers of creation. And I love that concept as soon as I heard it and I looked it up to see exactly what that meant. But the sense that, okay, we're in this creation but that it needs constant repair. Uh, And that's our job, not just maintenance, but actual repair. Um, And there's a lot of work to do there. And I think that's, uh, I don't know, in a lot of ways, I think it's very inspiring. Yeah. Um, Dude, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, The last question I have for you before we let you go is where is the best place for people to find you online? Uh, Our website is cirrusinsight.com. So C-I-R-R-U-S insight.com and uh, certainly we're largely an email company so brandon at seriousinsight.com or brandon bruce on linkedin and uh, love to be in touch perfect man thanks again for joining us we really appreciate it you got it thanks Tom. the podcast you just heard was published with anchor got something you want to say to the creator of this show send them a voice message using the anchor app free for ios and android